Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got quite a lot going on. I've got some casting, I've got some machining. I go to my friend Nick's place and he's busy with machining the crankcase for that big radial aircraft engine that was going to be converted into like a, a wall hanger, like a clock. Uh, I got quite a bit of footage of Nick machining that big, it's a big massive magnesium casting on his bins and berry lathe. Today has been a beautiful warm day. So naturally I've spent most of it inside in a shed cast in bronze um, playing around with sodium silicate uh, to try and make a to try and get a decent a decent cast of a nameplate for a large uh, traction engine. Uh, I'll show some of that and we'll see how I get on with it later on. In last week's nightcap I repaired the, the meat grinder for stand. I made the big nut cut of the 12 threads in the inch thread. Um, this week I've got to cut some 6 TPI Acme threads. I have to do a little modification on the back of the layer to get the, the, the change gears in I need. Quite a few people commented last week uh, when I was cutting the 12 TPI thread on the metric Horizon lathe using transition gears. Um, I use a, a 50 and a 63 which gives you nearly the same result as a 100 127. You just can't get a 127 inside the casing on the Horizon lathe. Anyway, one or two people mentioned that if I was to engage the thread indicator on the same point every time, like on exactly the same number every time, I should be able to disengage the half nuts. Well, I set the lathe up to cut the 6 TPI and I use that opportunity, I put some plastic bar in and I do disengage the lathe feed nuts and you can have a look and see what happens later on. That's some of you on mail coming this week uh, from a lad called Dave Dolman. Uh, Dave got a lot of gear given and in the bottom of the box, another gentleman had uh, passed away, in the bottom of the box I've got a, a lot of tools, uh, basically handmade, handmade, basically handmade tools. Um, they were no use at all to him but he thought I'd be able to use them and what they are, they're a full set of sand casting tools. Work on a sand cast mould I would, would use to, to form the sand. Interesting now, God only knows how old these are. There's a big box full of uh, various spoons, all cast out of brass or bronze. I'll bring the camera in later on and get a close up of these what are called draw hooks for pulling the for pulling the pattern out of the sand. These are actually stamped with a safe work and lure. I'm going to see if I can find a nice wooden box and put these in a wooden box because I will use them and I won't look after them. I, I've said before, I really like using old tools that somebody's basically spent a lifetime using and made their lives. They've just spent their life using them and I think for me to use these, it's a privilege. Anyway, Dave, thanks very much. They'll certainly be looked after um, and I hope when I'm finished with them, somebody else gets them and they can use them. See, I think there's someone in that, Sam. This is thin on the other stuff and all. More watery? Yeah. Uh, isn't it, Nick? That, I've got all that stuff, Sam. I know what I'm going to do. So, Mark, how did you get it? You've got to get every grain of sand coated, like.
a little thing to latch on. I didn't, I think, I think, I think Rapper could make it worse. Right, I think it might be breaking the sand. Could be, aye. Uh, Could be a bit of a mess. Bastardly. I don't know. Oh. So, I was just wondering about Clara on the side of it. Mm, I don't know. I thought I was saying it was. Mm. It's moved there. Shite. Same place, isn't it? Aye, I know. And that's, that sounds hard in there, mate. Is that, is anything? <laughs> just have to go on. The uh -huh. bass has got it. And we're going to get this out before we do anything else. That's loose at that end. Mm -hmm. Someone's pumps. Right. Right. I'm going to grab a couple of screws now. Keep it wiggling if you can, or anything, does it? Right, just centre it's got the bastard. Best of hard, like, isn't it? Definitely. Right, so metal comes down that one, along there, into there, and into there.
I've never had that happen before. No. Of course, the fucking world happened. Never had that happen. Jesus Christ. It doesn't happen that, you know. Be all right, Nick. May be all right. All right. May be all right. Oh, yeah. Just it's just been too close to the side. I think that. Yeah. And when you see it there, it is just too close to the side. You get a look at that side of the box. Aye. That channel should have been right up there. Yeah. Or that runner. It may be all right. Oh, yeah, I think it's got a possibility looking at it. Just looking at the. The cast so thin, isn't it? Yeah. Aye. Yeah. Go for it. I was expecting it to look worse than that one there. Uh... Is it? It's a little bit because it's been short on pressure, you know. Aye. So you haven't got the surface finished because it hasn't had the height, of, the height of metal above it. But it's a, uh, it's a keeper. Yep. like a nice cast and lunch. Um, quite a people, quite a people, yeah, clown. <laughs>